fiction. Matt's Journey by Clara Strongfield, illustrated by Margus Lucas, paired read poultry. Chapter One Gloomy Day. <sighs> Matt looked out the window at another rainy day. Why does it always have to rain on Saturdays? Matt thought. Why couldn't it be a sunny day just once? Why? The rain splashed against the window, blurring Matt's view. Matt stared harder. I see shapes moving outside, he thought. Mm, what can they be? Then Matt noticed that the rain sounded like a drum beat as it tapped against the window. The blurry shapes began to move. Some of them looked like people, Matt thought. Others look like animals, but I can't see their faces clearly through the wet glass. Matt kept gazing at the moving shapes. Then he smiled and let his imagination take over. What does Matt think he sees outside? You can answer this one. Chapter two, Rainforest Dance. A jungle set deep in a rainforest spread before Matt's eyes. I can see people dancing, he thought. They're surrounded by jungle plants and animals. Matt couldn't tell if the dancers were men or women. They were wearing animal masks. Those are cool masks. I wish I had one, thought Matt. The rain continued its steady beat. Matt felt the drum beat in his body. He swayed from side to side. Then Matt heard the best people calling him. Come and join us, they shouted. Dance with us. Matt wanted to join the dancers. He went into the jungle. Soon he was dancing and wearing a mask. The drum beat got stronger and stronger. The dancing got faster and faster. Matt was trying his best to keep up. Then he heard a knocking sound. It was a clap of thunder. <laughs> Matt! Mom's voice broke through his daydream. She was knocking on his door. She opened it and picked inside. Is everything all right? She asked. Matt nodded, still looking out the window. The masked people were gone now. The rain had stopped and the sun was out. Come into the kitchen, mom said. I have your lunch ready. Please answer. What does Matt imagine 
doing in the jungle? Play with your imagination. You can do it. Chapter three. Desert ride. Matt sat down to eat lunch. Dazzling sunlight shone through the window. The heat of the sun warmed him. It feels hot, he thought. Almost as hot as a desert. Matt looked out and saw a man walking his dog. That dog is pretty big, he said. But maybe it's not a dog after all. Maybe it's really a camel. Oh! <gasps> This is a camel. Matt let his imagination create a new scene. The new, the walls of his house disappeared. The sidewalks and lawns of his neighborhood faded. He was surrounded by sandy dunes. Standing next to a man and a camel. Matt patted the camel. Hi there, big fellow, he said. The camel winked at Matt, climb on. The camel seemed to say, wow. The camel kneeled and Matt climbed on its back. The next thing, he knew he was galloping across the desert. Wow, this is more fun than go karts, thought Matt. Matt, his mom's voice startled him. Aren't you hungry, dear? Matt blinked a few times. The camel was gone. So, where the sand dunes? Question. What kind of animal does the dog become in Matt's mind? Chapter four. A big appetite. Matt looked at his sandwich. Suddenly, his mouth was a dry desert full of sand. Boy, am I thirsty, said Matt. He got up to get a drink of water, then sat back down and gobbled up his lunch. Boy, am I hungry? He said. Matt finished his lunch quickly. A few seconds later, he asked mom for some more fruit. What did you do all morning that made you so hungry? Mom asked. Well, first I danced in the rainforest, then I rode a camel through the desert, Matt replied. Oh, really? Well, then I guess you need to feed your imagination, mom said. Matt grinded and nodded. So far, it had been an exciting Saturday. The end. Question. Why is Matt so hungry? Autumn leaves. 
this is a uh, poultry. Fall leaves fly and float. Tiny boats sailing on air. Gust of wind sends them trilling, skipping from here to there, dancing and prancing all along the ground. Under my boots, they make a crunching sound. I like this poem. The orchestra. It's also another poetry, or we can say poem. As in P O E M, palm. Say it again, palm. The orchestra. Oh, the orchestra. We're off to see the orchestra. Instruments large and small take me places by ear. The orchestra. Oh, the orchestra. Giant kettle drums roar, thunder and lightning rumble in the sky. The orchestra, oh, the orchestra takes my breath away. Flutes fly me to a meadow of flowers and sunshine. The orchestra, oh, the orchestra, loud and strong, soft and gentle. So many skilled hands take me places by ear. The end.